well as since Ultimate came out. Right, I think there, there was a period of time during Ultimate where he was entering though, right? Where he was kind of out. He was still entering sporadically. Yeah, yeah nothing, okay. not enough to like keep him off of the PR or anything. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I've seen him a lot more though recently. Uh, and and uh, I've instead of the constant barrage of waifus on Twitter that he he has, I'm finally seeing the sick combos. I remember he used to post the sickest stuff with uh, Fox. Yeah, Charlie's always been known as a combo team. Uh, his wolf is no slouch. Yes. I've seen that uh, a lot. Alright, up throw Nair into the photo, but that isn't true, and the air dodge is going to get Charlie out. Actually, able to answer back with some damage from the wolf, uh, the fire wolf. Now, this matchup is going to be a lot of Chad just throwing out backers and things like that in anticipation of Charlie approaching him, because. Chag doesn't have a lot of great outer shield options on the game plane. So instead he's going to just be looking to snuff out approaches before they can happen. Yeah, Charlie's playing this uh, passively right now. He's a lot of empty uh, hops, empty full hops. Empty yeah, it's just going to be about his movement too. Yeah. He's kind of trying to find it, uh, his movement. But Chag every once in a while just trying to stuff it out, throwing out a move. So there's really uh, a lot of dueling going on here in Footsies. Yeah, Charlie trying to bait out a, uh, a reaction there with that dash dance to the dash attack. But yeah, and that was unfortunate. Chag right there misinputting uh, for the up though. He only got a single jump. He did not get the double jump up there he was looking for. So Charlie's staying alive here. Yeah, Chag. Uh, one thing that Chag has been really good at in, uh, in, in his play is finding the uh, the hoo ha on. Uh, uh, inkling. He just always seems to land it and always get it. But he know this, and he knows the specific window that it works. Uh, I've seen him do it a lot on uh, Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I gotta keep the dock on my phone at all times if I want to hit those, but yeah, Chag always prepared. Late hit now, not gonna be able to kill. Chag saying it 205%. Charlie needs to take the stock before taking a jab like that because that jab will add up because of the ink. Yes. Okay. Right, that back should be a back throw. Though, yeah. Close. Okay. At 200. Even across Pokemon Stadium 2, that will be enough to take it. I mean, uh, that I was doubting it a little bit. <laughs> All right. Nair gets the down throw. Dash deck goes for something else, but actually gets snuffed out by a Nair from Chad. No matter though, Charlie not relenting on his pressure. Yeah, I don't know what uh, Chad was going for there for with the roller. We, I, I know... Uh, Charlie's really good at mashing out, so he probably wouldn't have gotten much off of it. Uh oh. And now this is a higher percent. He does have some guarantees. Yeah, but Chad recognizing Charlie does have the mash to survive that, so he has to go for an immediate backer instead of going for an up smash. One thing they did really good in this game is, uh, is, is, is for the character of Wolf. I love how brutal he feels when he, he hits you with that flash, when he hits you with those attacks. Oh, that was a really good mix-up right there with the roller. Unfortunately, for Chag, it didn't connect on the ground. It only connected in the air, which means it does not bury. Just a bit of knockback, but nothing you can follow up off. Charlie says, why are you jumping? Okay, nice. Fair into fair into up to it. Good patience right there from Charlie. He says, I've jumped in his face one too many times. He thinks only out of shield options he could possibly do. Would be an up smash. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing Charlie can do at that percent. He just takes the time to readjust himself. Um, it's too high. Like he's too high. So. Oh, that's big damage oh, right there from Jack. Lord, and he gets the roller as well. Dragged down up here, but he just stays on top of Charlie at all times. That was nuts. He just put on, what, 80% there? He just... He just didn't stop hitting Charlie. That's a combo game with these characters. Something to behold. Yeah, I mean, we talked about Charlie being known for having these crazy combos, but Chad just took him around the world and back. Okay. 
Okay, Charlie there doing a good job pressuring Jack's shield, but Jack's not gonna give anything. Jack has been so... No, that's it for Charlie. Gets caught yeah. by the roller. Yeah, Charlie's not happy with that one. Yeah, Jack has been so patient in these uh, interactions. He just sort of waited for Charlie to, to dance around his shield. Like, I know you're not gonna hit me. I know you're not gonna do anything. And then Charlie just sort of backs off and uh, Jack's able to get back in the neutral. up here on the forward air for Chag, but obviously not gonna get anything that time. He is though with an f -door. What are these parries back and forth, back and forth, but Charlie able to come out on top of this situation. Yeah, ledge pressure from Charlie, very impressive, but Chag managed to find a way around it. Oh, goes for the wolf flash. Okay, that was so close there. Charlie no Okay, as an inkling main, I'm upset about that near beating splat bomb, but <laughs> As a commentator, I'm completely unbiased. Yeah, we don't we don't ever have bias here. Obviously. Anyways, down throw for Charlie. Yeah, I love watching the pressure come out from Charlie, but he's not he's just not getting anything from it. Chag is uh, He's doing a good job of just weaving in and out, abusing Inkling's movement. Making it just hell for Charlie to find any good damage. Oh, up tilt. Nice. Up tilt says, don't you dare land lazily on me. Okay, goes for the roller there. I like that. Uh, maybe hope we can catch Charlie uh, trying to punish it or something like that. And just at least using the invulnerability to go for that kill option. And we haven't seen Chad go for that very often. So, nice mix up for Charlie not falling for it. I am just running up, says, I know you're scared of me. You're going to be in shield. I'm going to get the free grab. Okay, Charlie just waits out this time. Yeah, and Charlie's trying to play a little bit more patient, just waiting out and reacting to Chad's options from the ledge. And it's working out great for him, but an immediate back throw from ledge is going to even out the stocks. At least Chad's still sitting at 106%. But we saw what happened last game where he just matched his damage in one opening. Reverse uh, up tilt. Uh, but Chag doesn't have the platform to work with here, so. He does not. This is a good st a good stage counter pick here for Charlie, I believe. Yeah, I mean, FD, unless you're getting ed edge guards, uh, I, I think the, uh, this matchup is more. Uh, what's I gonna say? Uh, it's not gonna have huge swings either way. And a back throw for Charlie is going to get him a bit of uh, the stock, rather, a big lead here. Okay, fair. Ripple fair into Nair. Spicy. All right, Charlie actually missing the tech there, keeping himself alive because the Corolla cannot bury you if you aren't actually on the ground. If you miss your tech, it won't bury you. And a down smash catches the neutral grip. Convincing Dude, that, game, but that freeze frame was so sick. It was like Wolf with a grimace on his face, sweeping his claw, covered in purple paint. Yeah. I was metal, dude. That's if I if I ever record a metal album, that will be the uh, album. That cover. that's the one right there. Right there. Yeah. Somebody clip that. All right. My game right back in. Chag, not gonna bring out the Palutena, says, I like the Inkling vs. Wolf matchup. If I can get going, I'll be able to do it. I don't think he, he should switch. He's been doing very well with Inkling, and now he's got his platforms again to work with. Um, I think maybe in the future, Chag should consider if uh, Charlie goes to going, is going to FD, he should consider the Pal Palutena. Uh, but now that it's his counter pick, I normally like Town C, but it really just not feeling like it's working out in Chad's favor once again. I don't know, it may not have anything to do with the stage, and Charlie just really figured out something to do in this matchup, That's and it's working awesome. out well for him. Okay. It's still there, maybe not. 
have to get. Oh, up smash, but nice good match. smash from, Mar from Marley. Who's Marley? Charlie the King. Yeah, and Charlie really put his whole body into that match. You know, yeah, wheeling back in here, using both hands. So I do not want to die this roller at 80%. Yep. That's what you got to do, man. Okay, yeah. As back of yet, we doing? really yeah. haven't seen Charlie been able to get any solid ledge traps off on Chag. Um, I don't believe Chag even think, thought that roller was going to hit. Took a second to collect himself and said, wait a second, I can get punished now? <laughs> oh, wow, that beat Wolf Snare. Yeah. That sure did. I think, uh, yeah, if he went for fair there, he would have been okay, but... Uh, no going for Nair there, and that beat it. It didn't even flank or anything. Alright, jabs for Inkling is going to put some damage on the board as well as make everything else do just a little bit more damage while Wolf is inked up, but it's wearing off quickly and now up tilt into the nair, but he gets punished with a backer because he overextended looking for his own backer. Yeah, and Charlie's starting to run away with this one, but... Uh-oh, no jump here. Chad can fall off a little magic. Uh, okay, another good mash from Charlie. He's gonna live. Yeah, Charlie's really been on top of it with these mashes, but can do it. Past 120, it becomes so immensely difficult to get out of the roller. Okay, Chag repeating to the platforms here. And uh, it's a pretty close game now, actually. Okay, combos. Charlie landing on the platform is able to shield and escape that combo. Uh, some combos are platform assisted, but that one was combo non assisted. Okay, back throw. Option positioning. Okay, get a combo off it. Uh, okay, jab. It's got a lot of ink on him. Jack can really make up some damage here if he can find an opening. Yeah, that fair is going to put him on the ledge. But now Charlie is inked up. I kind of like what he's doing here, just camping out the ink. Doesn't want to go down there and get, you know, all this damage racked up from nothing. That is Inkling's biggest comeback factor. Yeah, but even so, uh, Charlie taking a lot of damage from those other racks. And the roll gets caught by the F tilt. Chag not happy with that, saying, Wolf, these hitboxes are kind of big, man. What is this? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Charlie uh, finally getting some ledge trapping on, and right when I counted. Jack thinking about this. I wonder if he's thinking about the Palutena. It's always so hard when you play more than one character. Just to decide. It looks like he will stay with the Inkling. Jab, so good. Covered in ink now, and he's going to take extra damage. All right, but Charlie kind of scrambling to get an opening on this ledge here, and Chad not giving him much. Just kind of saying, okay, you do your thing. I'm going to punish you eventually. Here's the jabs again, and that's a lot of damage on Charlie to King. Yeah, he just he just took about. Oh, uh -oh. you going to let me finish here, Chad? Jeez. Uh, he just took 50% from, from the ledge and from being just covered in ink there. Yeah, but unfortunately for Chag, he mistimes his down smash, so he's not able to catch him going to ledge. But what a match again from Charlie. That was so fast. He's yeah, Chag. Unable to get the up throw up there, so it's going to just be the uh, back throw here. But he has a big lead right now. Charlie's going to have to find a way to answer. Yeah, even if, though he didn't get that down smash, he's still in a good spot right now. Okay, tried to 
tries to snipe the recovery there. I like that you still need this. Oh, oh my oh. god! Charlie, that was an insane back here. Knows that Chag's gonna look for the low recovery with the roller, realign himself, and just goes out there immediately with the back air. Max Rage, that'll do it. Yeah. That was that was crazy there. I mean, we've seen Chag go for that so many times. Uh, Charlie just finally calling it out, saying, calling out, saying, I actually I can punish that. Yeah, and that was the kind of turnaround he needed right now. Now Chag unable to find the kill. Inkling does sometimes struggle with it. Yeah, but that'll be okay. it. No, oh, Chag misses, misses the up smash. Charlie jumps out of the roller, but or the berry rather, and lands right in an up air from Chag. Yeah, uh, Charlie getting lucky and then. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, I mean, how many times have you seen in this game where somebody uh, has somebody in a bad spot, messes up, or, or a guaranteed kill situation, messes up, and then gets the kill anyway? It happens sometimes, man. Okay, Chag goes for the roller again. Jumping from what Charlie's been able to call those out a couple of times with back ears. Yeah, Charlie... out this game, but um, we've seen the Inkling's ability to pack on damage since the early stop. Um, and I would not be surprised if, uh, just with just a few openings, Jack could bring this right back. I okay, trades, so he's going to live. Yeah, that's exactly what Charlie wants right there. Even if he gets rollers, Big he's damage. putting Jack in a position where he can't finish it off. Yeah, that one shield poked him. Oh, is that what happened? I thought yeah. maybe he just let go. No, it definitely looked like the shield came out, but it was too small for the roller to not go through. Yeah, the hitbox on that is, like, really low. Yeah. I think they made it that way because to hit the, just the uh, smaller characters and just make it a ground-based move. So if you tell I can avoid it. All right, here we go. Yeah, big combos. Charlie doesn't close this out soon. I I don't know. I feel like the momentum is definitely on Chag's side right now. Nah, but the up tilt foul do it catches Chag's landing. And Charlie the King moving into winner's finals here. Three to one win.